The following is a presentation of TFNN. Now, your money masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us, folks. We have the Dow right now up 31, Nasdaq up 14, S&P's up 3.5. You get gold up 4, silver up 30, platinum up 9.75. Bonds are down 10 ticks, and King Dollar is down 26 ticks. It's already uh, bottom line rejected the low uh, of that 78-60 uh, uh, area. And uh, bottom line, can you spell ABC down? Oh, baby. Oh, man. Let me tell you, folks, what you have happening here is this. volume goes? You got it. Uh, and what you have, uh, the UK is doing it right now. You get a you, the small bounce out here. I expect what you're going to get. Yeah. You know, it's going to be light volume, and it's building it. It's a much larger ABC down. This is a decent one. I mean... Um, if you can hang up here just a little today, just like this. Yeah. S and P. I mean the the cash S and P. You mean re-energize like you and me? Yeah, totally. Get the man. batteries re-energized totally. before you take that next uh, leg. Totally. Well, well, you know it's wild here. Now watch this, folks. You're talking about 78 down to 40. So you're talking about a 38 S and P A to B structure. Yes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the you know that's 380 Dow points or 38 S and P points. That's a that's a good trade. Yeah, yeah. And the Dax is just about to go negative. Yeah, it's up to yeah, point, it's, up a point right now. So there's no hold on this baby, and of course Apple. It's going to be one o'clock. Apple. We'll see what they. Okay, eat. so that's the time frame. Yeah, one o'clock. Okay, one one p.m. Eastern Standard Time. One p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, they're coming out with. You got your order in? I, I you know, I bet Angie does, <laughs> <laughs> and I bet Nico does. <laughs> I bet Nico does. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Absolutely. No doubt. Yeah, we got to give Nico. He's probably in line at the store. And he was there yesterday. He was. I, I just finished working out with him. Okay. He, he oh, was. DG great. told me flat out he was there yesterday. Do you know what I mean? Uh, uh, that's funny. So yeah, yeah, it's uh, pretty wild, man. I mean, and I guess you know, it really it, it does depend what they come out with too. You know. Yeah. I mean, you know. Well, they're saying the Apple TV. It's not really. If there is anything, it's not going to be the yeah. Apple TV. That like won't be today, right? Right. There's going to be an iPod. It's an. It's an iPad. Yeah. It's an iPad four or five or something. No, it must be four. I think I got three. Yeah. yeah. So it must be five. Yeah. You know, with with AT and T changing its uh, program for all those folks that were grandfathered yes. in on right. the unlimited piece yes. of it. You know, uh, it, it doesn't necessarily bode well. For the 4G effect, if you will. No, it doesn't. You know what I mean? Not unless you're going to pay through the nose. That's right. Go to Sprint, folks. Sprint still has unlimited. And that, that's why Sprint, let me see what Sprint looks like. Sprint is going to pick up customers on that. Well, I, I would think that they would. Listen, I absolutely I, think I, that they, you know, I, they should. I can never understand, you know, my whole family is on AT&T except me and Tommy. <laughs> And it's like, you guys pay through the nose more. Yeah. I get six phones, and I mean, I, I yes. think we pay for as much as six phones as they're, they're paying for two. I'm not yeah. kidding. No, no. I mean, it's, okay. it's that bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. So Sprint. Let's see what Sprint's doing. Sprint. Okay, so Sprint came down hard. Big time. Did it test the bottom of that candle? Not yet. Okay. That's a problem. That's 210. Oh, it did. Oh, my God, did it, it really? did. So Look at that. How about that? It We're did. Okay, so volume, huh? so watch this. You know, th this gets interesting, folks. If you're watching Tiger TV, when you just glance at this, and I see this happen a lot, that it, it you know, it looks like that, that price point is higher, and it's not. It's exactly 210 And the first acceleration down, it was $2.10. That was on October 10th. And then on January, well, in that the, you had okay, volume yeah. there of $306 million. And then you came down on January 31st 61 with 61 million. You gotta love that trade. And then you, up, huh? that's right. And then you, you had, you know, a couple a nice, small signs of strength. You certainly had a nice one on February 23rd. And you know what? You know. Oh, this is gonna be. Nice you know. You know what's gonna happen here? Oh my God! You know what could happen here, folks? This could set up a Tiger Gottlieb. You get the acceleration up. Okay, let's see. So 260. Are you looking for the ABC down in this? Thing? Yeah. Okay, I see. I it's, see this, it's got the A to so, B. Yeah, so you're going from the high on February 27th right. to the low of yesterday. That's right. It's A to and B. And then the question is, you know, how far does it retrace? That's right. But, uh, you know, what would be if, if, if the high ends up being today, right now, which is in the $2.40 uh, range, 247 yeah. so I said, you get to 223 which is right at the bottom of the... Uh, February twenty third candle. It's three you cents know, above it. Perfect. Know, yeah. yeah. Right. No. No. You exactly. Know, so, <clears throat> exactly. So, so it would be now. What you're, what you'd also be looking for, folks, is you'd, you'd, you'd look for it to get beyond 
the $2.36 level on less than 33 million shares. That's right. And not trade more than 33 million shares while it's getting Past to $2.23. Right. Yeah. Right. That's no. pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, we, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if, uh, that's, if, if that shakes out. <clears throat> that is going to be pretty neat. You Interesting. Know? Yeah. Inter I guess, you know, so you take a look from a business plan standpoint. You know, here's a stock that was trading up at 27 bucks, trading down at 2 bucks. I know. Sprint. You know, in, yeah, look at, you know, you, you, look, you're a diehard customer. Right. You're not going anywhere. No. No, and it's been no, but but their business but, model. What what did they, what's the P and L say? What do they what are they doing? That, say, that's got, that, out of curiosity. Well, that's, you know? well, that's why I'm I want to see how much love they have. That's why I'm directing people to it. That's why they're probably losing money because it's unlimited. It? Uh, yeah, they okay. lose a buck forty six a share. It? Oh man, boy, they love you though. Yeah, well, they they give it away. <laughs> I mean, I don't even use that much, but you you always know uh, it's just one charge and that's it. Yeah. Yep. No, I know, I yeah. know, I know. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Let's go to Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Hey, Tom and Steve. I'm so bummed, so bummed I wasn't able to get there last night, guys. I've uh, been out of town, uh, and I uh, missed you guys, man. I was hoping to be able to get back in time, but I wasn't able to. It was to. a good time. It was a I good bet. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. It was a nice, nice place. little intimate crowd and setting, and yeah. it, was, it was good. That hotel is dynamite. It man. is. I like that. I've done a lot of it at that hotel. I like that hotel. Yeah, good folks there. The, uh, the Hyatt on the uh, Corny Campbell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Years ago, and back in my heavy commercial days, I did the uh, central energy plant uh, for that facility. And uh, I, I, I spend the money. They don't go cheap when they do their regency yeah. plant. Hotels, right. They spend money. They do not go cheap. Right. Because uh, their deal is we want comfort. But uh, hey, anyway, thanks for taking my call. Um, I did something uh, yesterday towards the close, and I'm kind of like starting to doubt myself. I was wondering if I could ask you to uh, take a look at uh, GBG. It did a uh, hammer top, hammer candle, excuse me, hammer top. To, uh, okay, so that, it's, on it. you get great basin, folks. Low this year, 78 cents. The high is 283. Now, let me bring this back. First, I want to see what you've gone into. Okay, so, Interesting. Okay. Yeah, all the way back to the, it's actually going all the way back to the December on the weekly to the December fifth week in two thousand eight. And the low there was seventy three cents. Okay. I don't think it got down. I think it got down to seventy six, maybe seventy eight yep. cents. So you get a hundred and one million. You go up one seventy eight. Okay, so what I you know hey listen you might have it but I, I would wait for a sign of strength you know. I mean, because what you had here is that, you know, you, you, you had a couple small signs of strength when it went from that buck to buck 20, no doubt about it, right? Then right. you broke down and you did break down with lighter volume. Now, when that happens, you should get a sign of strength. Well, actually, you're right back inside it. All you have to do, you know, is you have to close inside 86 cents. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, and if you close uh, inside 86 cents, you got it. We're back inside the ranch. We've got a real tight stop. But what made me, what made me think about it was, is, again, from uh, my knowledge of timing the trade, um, you know, we, it got exploded. If you look at it intraday, it got exploded. Oh, just popped in 87 cents. Nice. Um, that's because someone said, oh, my God, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah they, they heard you, Tom. They heard you, and someone decided to gift wrap it for us. But, uh, I mean, if you look at it intraday, Tom, it just exploded at night on the open there on, uh, like, 1.3 million and change. And then right at the end, in the last 15 minutes, someone comes in and buys it. And then again this morning, at uh, the 10 o'clock time frame, just as we were guys were coming on the uh, the air, someone stepped in with 657,000. I thought, well, on the one hand, it's got the hammer candle. If it gets back right. inside the range, we should be good. Keep a tight stop. But then again, with the way the dollar's going, with the way gold's going, I'm yeah, like, listen, I think, yeah, yeah, I think that's that. The real question is if if uh, if gold goes ahead and moves down, you know, to the 1626, the 1580 area. Right. What's your thoughts on, on how that would impact Great Basin Gold or it's, any of the other gold? It impacts them there. all. That's yeah. the, and it's always a, a big toss-up there, too, because it, it's, a, it's a killer. It's like, okay, man, if it's going to get down there, it's going to drag them down. You know, it's going to drag the good ones with the bad ones. But You know, because I'm watching AEM real closely, and I want to bite on AEM. But it's like, you know what, I'm not biting on this baby until I think the metal itself has calmed down. Because I think the metal is going to take another $100 dive. So all that says is just, you know, make it, make it, a, make it an absolute trade. Yes. You know, get some, right. get some nice bread and... and uh, stop nice and close. Yeah, because, you know, I mean, until you see some other sign that uh, gold is, is done with its retracement, and it's not at this right. stage, you know, you're more likely looking. And, and, you know, gold retraces, you know, deeper than people... You know, picture. Always. And Always. so, you know, it, it, it's 
gold can easily get back to just at 1523 there's nothing wrong it's consol it's just consolidating i know i know you know which will put pressure on there awesome thanks for taking my call guys Cooking, brother. appreciate it a bunch yeah, have a great absolutely. one man have a safe one so let's go over and take a look at that uh, good old this is going to be great to wa to watch how this this is actually getting fun to watch how apple trades um because what you've had now, folks, is this. So Apple, no doubt, folks, has given clues that it wants to pull back and, and pull back in a big way, not in a small way. And it's just, you know, that the first clue was February 15th. Stock goes from 526, you know, down to 486. Yes. You know, 12 hours. Then you had the last two days. Now, the way this is setting up right now, this is setting up, let's see, we're 5 million versus 28. Well, we'll see what happens. It needs a little bit longer. But it, it almost looks like it's setting up a small ABC down. Right, right, right. You know, and that, it'd, be, it'd actually be, it'd be a fairly decent one, actually. So you get, uh, what, 548? No, not really. 30 bucks. You know, what, what stopped, what stopped 30, the, 30 bucks yeah. is nothing on Apple. And, and certainly, like they're saying, what stopped it in its tracks yesterday was February 15th. Right. If that February 15th, if, if, if Apple had given way yesterday, you would have seen the markets down substantially more. Oh, yeah. You know, but Apple helped to uh, come in and uh, support the day, uh, and it was really that it was that February fifteenth day where you had you know it's a nice volume at fifty three million yeah, shares, and that's how that's going to be hard to break down. Yeah, you know the first uh, when you see a large volume like that, folks, right? You know, so that we're coming down into that volume, and when you see that, you can't expect that you're going to break it the first time down. What I always look for is that, is there expansion of volume going in it? And then how does it hit the second time? And as you see it, just picture a jackhammer. And if you do see the expansion of volume, as it keeps going into it, then it wants to break it. Yeah. If you don't see the expansion of volume, that's going to be, that's solid support. And they're coming right in there saying, okay, let's go again. Yeah, and I just threw the 30-minute uh, chart up on the screen. At the 10 o'clock open yesterday, you do have volume. You had 6 million shares. So it's going to get down there. It wants to get down there and test that area again. Yeah, pretty amazing. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all you tigers and tigers out there growling and prowling. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow up 31, NASDAQ up 15, S&P's up 4. We're going to be right back. X-Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex-listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold-silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than $250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has $50 million in its treasury, having spent over $60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year-end, as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story Gold Mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be at the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you seek to maximize your returns. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus 
and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of the money game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look, fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and the money game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to a hundred dollars let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days go to the home page of tfnn.com and click on my name steve rhodes for your 30-day risk-free trial you are born to be a money master and i'll teach you how Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your the Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. Appreciate you being out here growling a problem with us. Don't forget, folks, that we have the Tiger Dollar promotion uh, on the until uh, the end of this week. Uh, if you do want to make 20 to 30 percent on your money, if you uh, have any subscriptions now at TFNN, you're looking for any in the, in the future. Bottom line is that you can make 20 to 30 percent on your money. Um, and what comes with them, folks, okay, which you, you can't buy, I'm doing a master trader series. The only way you get it is that you buy the Tiger Dollars, you get the bonus dollars, and you don't pay for the uh, master trader. That's going to be March 29th. That's going to be all day. And if you can't make it, it still gets archived on your page so you can go over it and over it and over it. And, of course, don't forget, our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, is on the road. I am on the road. We baby. just got off the road. We just oh, finished my goodness. the Go Long America Tour. And it was, you know, it's great. It was great. I, I like the idea of we finished it at home. That was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. It definitely was. No, it was, it, was, it was a great trip getting out there. You know, we I, I learned so much just yeah. from being out there. Oh, absolutely. You know, the interaction with the uh, group, uh, right. you know. Yeah. Great, 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 wonderful experience to see everybody. Huge, no doubt. And Steve's going to be coming back to Denver, Colorado, folks, uh, in person, March 23rd and 24th. That's a Friday and Saturday. Tampa, Florida, April 13th and 14th. I think I'm going back to Regina's to get the goop. Yeah. Oh, and, you, and you, I've got to go. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And we made a commitment yesterday. Yeah. That I would go, go to the other. Uh, you uh, you got you to love this. One of our tigresses, Gloria, she said to me, she pulled me. Now, I know, I know her and her husband, John, right? Yeah. And. They're from Boston, the Boston area, right? Yes. And so what happened, folks, two different things. You're going to crack up. I told Nico this this morning. Oh, okay. okay? Yeah, right. Two different things end up happening. I could, as soon as I could see them walking in, yeah. I saw a look, and she says, why didn't you bring them to San Top oh, And I goodness. knew that was their favorite place, oh, right? That's great. And so I that's said, great. oh, I, 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 and I, tell, I showed it, and I said, okay, next time we'll go there, right? Well, that, then, but we got to stop where Jesus get the goop. i got to make sure we got the goop that, with us. No okay? problem. Okay. No okay. problem. Yeah, yeah, goop, no problem. Goop, goop to go. So listen to this. <laughs> this is even funny. So, Nico, I'm, I'm working out with Nico this morning, and uh, <laughs> I'm telling him, I says, you know what, man? I says, I think what you have to do is, on the website, right, say, what would Nico say? Ah, uh, okay. You know, I like I, that. because I Gloria grabbed me on, by, on, it, on the pizza. Remember, as soon as we, as soon as we were starting the, the workshop it. last night, folks, she says, oh, what is Nico going to say? And I says, you know, you're going to put that on there, because that's a great that quote. Is, I love that. That's okay. a great quote. I like that. Great. Isn't it great? Yeah, I, know. Yeah, yeah. I know. So when I'm up in Boston, I definitely have to go over there. Oh, you will. I'll go, I'll go sample them both. I'll get you a couple more Italian uh, restaurants, oh, too. Oh, man. Oh, I, you know, then in that uh, Mike's. 
Oh, by my, hey, that was pretty incredible. For all the folks in the, in the Boston area, folks, if you, if you know the North End, so the they have a Mike's Pastry that is, you know, you just you just can't believe the business this guy does. So I'm telling Steve about it when we're at Regina's. Because he's saying, where else, you know, should I see? I said, well, Mike's Pastry you probably want to see. Well, we're coming out of Regina's, and who's walking by us, right? No, Remember, the guy has a box, Mike's Pastry. He says, there's the box, right? So we bring him up, bring him up Hanover Street. And needless to say, wasn't that... Uh, that was like 11 o'clock at night. It's freezing outside, yep. and they got lines. There's, there's lines 500 people. people there. I mean, it was just, it's over the top. It, yeah, must be some pretty darn good pastries in there. And good Zambuca. And, yeah, and good no, there you go. I think that's yeah. the trick. No, it, it's yeah, the pastries place on one side. They get a, they, they serve the pastries with the little coffee cups of Zambuca. Okay, yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. yeah and then I'm going to go up to uh, Boston. Uh, I mean, to so we got Boston April 27th, Tampa here yeah. April 13th and 14th, and uh, Denver the 23rd and 24th. Much man, you you're, you're, that's every other weekend. Heck, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Got some work to do. All the details, great. folks, are in the front page of TFNN. And, you know, the bottom line is that you, if you want to save a bundle, get a great education, um, do it now. Because when you put the whole deal together, folks, uh, with the Tiger dollars, you're saving uh, quite a bit of money. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go to uh, Dave in Lakeland. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Yeah, hey, good morning, guys. How you doing? Okay. Can uh, Steve bring back pastries on uh, <laughs> off my Tiger dollars? Uh, oh, you know, man. I. you know, hey, you never know. Mail order. Mail yeah. order, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds uh, good. Yeah, exactly. I've never, I've never seen. Now you know, because I grew up in Detroit and in uh, Greek Town area, they also had a pastry shop. You know, so everywhere yes. you go, you'd, you'd have a good time. You'd party at one of the restaurants, and you'd go over. But it was, and and they would usually have some lines. Okay. But nothing like what I saw over at this place. I okay. Mean, nothing like that you know, in my entire life. Yeah, absolutely. You know? and, no, I know. Now, hey, listen to this. This, you know, what's really cool here. Okay, so so picture this, folks. The uh, on Sunday when we we're at this concert, there's you know all these stands set up, and and you you got to remember something. My I love stands. Yeah. I, my, well, yeah. I one, one, of, one of my what biggest, a great anchor. One of my biggest things that I always wanted to do that I haven't done yet, yeah. I wanted to sell hot dogs at Fenway Park. Okay. But I wanted oh. them to be my hot dog. No, meaning uh, okay. that was my stand, not it. to okay. sell hot dogs. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So I, I got to corner a couple big markets. I cornered the Tall Ships once, and I, I cornered the Esplanade about 25% of it, which was, which was huge. Okay. You stay right there, but because I'm going to... We're going to talk hot dogs when we get back. No, we're going to talk stands okay. because there's, I'm going to give you an idea right now that you can do right now. Okay. I know I can't do it, but I know it's a good business. We're going to be right back. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on light of volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under Newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a 
a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney LLC, member SIPC. In the world of financial markets, there's a new player in town with an exciting new way to trade the markets. Nadex now offers binary options as well as bull spreads in a wide range of indices along with commodity and forex markets. With as little as $100, you can gain access to a new way to trade global financial markets while guaranteeing that your risk will always be capped. Nadex allows you to multiply your trading opportunities in ways never imagined before and access markets you once thought were out of reach. With short-term trading opportunities available, including binary options expiring each hour the market is open, Nadex allows you to take advantage of a variety of market conditions regardless of volatility or market direction. Now is the time to take advantage of this exciting new market. Don't let this trading opportunity pass you by. Open your account today by clicking on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Nadex, a better way to trade. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have uh, the Dow up 22, NASDAQ up 15, S&P's up 3. Uh, so, folks, if you do happen to be in the, in the Florida area, uh, on Wednesdays, right outside our office in Clearwater, they have uh, this whole fair going. And there's a lady, named, her name is Caroline's Desserts. And let me tell you. When we were at this last workshop, I mean, uh, concert, yeah, I was looking. I said, you know what? If I was still in that business, what I would do with her, I would take her desserts and bring them right across the country. Yeah. So she's outside right now, folks. So if you're looking for business, let me tell you something. It's a business, and it's viable. And yeah. It's viable in a big way. Yeah. She does. She does. I was talking to her. I was talking about a half hour. But what, and I was just saying to Steve, I've seen a few of these that you can really do it with, and she, I think she's one of them. And the reason being is that. She must. She has a factory, well, a store or factory somewhere. Yeah. She packages them up correctly, and what? And what the she price needs is distribution. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. For sure. and, and 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 let me tell you something. They're over the top. It's like, oh my god. Anyway. So, Dave, what's happening? I'm getting hungry now. I hell, listen, man. <laughs> you know what's so funny? Not like it, some health food around here in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it, is it, as soon as I get off this program every day, I eat lunch. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. I it just, I, I, I do, man. I just do. Uh, absolutely. So, what are you going to look well, at? Anyway, yeah, I was calling about uh, EX. EXM. Okay, so we get uh, XL Maritime. The low is 137. The high is 488. Um, now, do you own this? You're looking to buy it? What are we doing here? I think yeah, he dropped. I think the cell phone. I think all that talk of food. He's he's running down here. I think he's. Uh, <laughs> you know, he's in Lakeland, but I bet he's running over here. De definitely, man. <laughs> I, I love I, it. That's for sure. I love it. Well, what you have with this baby is that you know he, it's it's a beautiful Tiger Gartley. Yes, you know, it, is. It, it took the B point out. If you want to see a Tiger Gartley, folks, you know he had the expansion up from the. Uh, 144 level, huge strength. You get up to 236, and what ends up happening? You do the A to B equals C to D, 
and this thing came in about as clean as you could get it. Took the B point out with light of volume, um, you know, came against the, the sign of strength, and you know, on any pullback, yeah, I'd be all over it. Yeah, yeah. No, n nice trade, absolutely. You know? Well, nice trade setup. Well, you, you know, know it's a really cool. nice trade setup because it's, yeah, you know, you're doing. Not only are you doing, uh, you know, you had the Tiger Gartley. That's one element of it, right? But you're also completing it. You know, coming against a breakout area. That's right. Right, because you, you would normally teach. You know, you, you could you you would teach the ability to make a fortune if you just simply have the patience. That's right. About just simply buying stocks when they come back to their breakout. Area. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So that would be something that you teach. Then you go to page two twenty two in the right. art of timing the trade. Right. Okay. And now you got the Tiger Gartley. You, you you'd love to just trade Tiger Gartleys. Totally. Right. And that's what I'm Now you got both of them the, on the road, folks. You know what's so cool about this, folks, is that on the road. For all you folks that, you know, saw us in Denver, Spokane, and San Fran, you know, we, we gave you this trade. Yes. And, and it came out. Well, what happens is when I say we gave you, I was suspecting that it, it could set up. And, and it did set up. It's, it's amazing, actually. It's no, a, absolutely. And then, and then uh, so on top of that, then to cap it off, the third thing you have is yesterday, you know, as it's completing, coming back to the breakout right. area, completing the Tiger Garden League, you do it with a bullish engulfing candle. Yeah. So, you know, you, it, oh, had, it had everything. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. right. You know, I, yeah. it had absolutely everything. Look at I that. I was just like, this oh, morning. Oh, pretty. I know. I was like, pretty. Oh, man. It's so, so, you know, how the trade works out, we'll find out. But you certainly textbook. This is one that would, this is one you'd save and you'd put in the uh, yes. textbook, right? No doubt. No you'd doubt. Be like, you know, man, it had, it had everything. And you know what the, so there's, a, if, if we pull up uh, EGLE, the, the differences, there's a couple differences. And, and what they are is that that is, is I, I like how the high is, but it's too far away from the lows right. you know, for money management. Right, right. And dries is the same way. You know, uh, the way it dries is set up. What's going on there? Okay. Good. There we go. Okay. Um, the way it dries is set up, it's too far, you know, basically, um, it just, you can see there's so much underneath it, man. So we'll, we'll see what this whole thing um, does. Well, you know, if they were, if they were, if we were in a market where you had a bunch of ABCs confirming to the upside. Right. Then you could be taking a look at dry ships as being, you know, a pretty decent setup because it came back, you know, against a breakout a area. Point three two, yeah. And just no, a smaller retracement. Right. But, but right. I don't know that's that we're in that market just yet. Yeah, I don't. You know no, what no, I mean? Yes, but no, it, that, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. If, if, because you, you do, yeah. Because then, then, then you've got a tighter, you know, you, you get a, a larger A to B, probably more than a one to one A to B. It, it, plus uh, uh, just well, what, it, what does happen is that if it only pulls back a point three A two, that shows it's a stronger stock. Exactly. There's, there's, you know, if if we separated the issue, is that yes, they are, they certainly look like the stronger stocks, so they won't pull back. Right. Uh, you know, so we'll. Pretty but you well. gotta like one that's a Tiger Gartley coming back to a breakout area. Yeah, uh, it's gotta go in the next yeah. book. Yeah, you know. No, uh, no, no doubt. Oh, next book. No, that's not happening. Oh, no, man. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> that, I'm uh, done with that for a while. Uh, well, you know, it's so funny, well, folks. We'll, we'll still copy it down. Put it when, when, you, when you think, when you think, you, you know, you can bang these out pretty quick. You know, the, the initial part is pretty quick, and then it just starts and it just weighs on you. Yeah. So I, I get I get a while. Okay. King Dollar. Look at King yeah. Dollar. King Dollar on the move, huh? King Dollar is rejecting lows. You know, it got down to seventy nine uh, forty sixty four today. Doesn't want anything to do with it. Now the way this is setting up, this is going to shock people, man. This is going to be this is going to be such a. It, see, you, you have the acceleration off February 9th. Right now, what's happening is you're just sitting right there. You sit underneath something like this. All he likes to do is double up and get into eighty-two dollars, like ASAP. Yeah, and you, well, no, no, for sure. No, so the opposite, obviously, is Queen Euro. Okay, Queen and, Euro. Okay, well, you got every king's <laughs> got to have a queen. Oh my okay, god. Okay, so you got Queen Euro. Hey, the doll is not married to the queen. <laughs> oh yes, it is. Fifty-six percent of them waiting inside it. Yeah, I'd, say it's, yeah. I'd say it's married. See with, that? See that? Yeah, see the that. Big rock, These you Europeans, know? they just still want to hold on to us. <laughs> but on the thirty-minute chart, folks, this is actually kind of very cool looking um, that I've got up on the screen here. So if you're taking a look at it, and we talk about sacred geometry numbers, and you look look at the low that was put in here at ten thirty, as we were coming on the low out there, folks, being okay. uh, one point three zero nine five seven. 
you have a 1.618 expansion of a swing point, a 1.272 expansion oh of a swing point. Oh, my God. And this area here ought to hold. Okay, now if it doesn't hold, yeah. okay, now again, it's just a 30 minute chart here. Right. But let me tell you folks, if this area doesn't hold here with this kind of butterfly pattern, with this kind of uh, geometry taking place, then you're going to absolutely see lower prices in our market today. But this area right, right now, you know, with, with regard to the sacred geometry, ought to at least be able to bounce. And the bounce on this would take the euro back up into the, uh, I would say, the 130, 131, uh, 7 area. Okay. But you know, I mean, it's, that but, is it's, so it's, pretty, man, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, you know, just stopping to pop that one up there on the wow. on the shorter term chart. So, but if you take a look at the daily, and that would, this would only be a, this would really only be a short term trade because if you take a look at the daily, it says the queen wants to go downtown. Yeah, you know, it wants lower prices. You know, at least wants to get down and test the uh, back in the one point. Queen's going to be a princess pretty soon. <laughs> uh, no doubt. I love it. No doubt. Let's take a look at uh, some of our high volume stocks. Even though there's going to be no high volume because we're going to ABC uh, structuring down here. Um, oh, you got here. I want to look at Pandora. You know what, oh, folks? I, I know. The, the, <laughs> this is absolutely the these they when they pushed out these. You know whether it's Pandora. We'll see how the other social ones goes. This is the, totally a scam. You yeah. know, and what the scam is is that they got them out the door. And then the first quarter, the first quarter, and everyone needs to get out the door, right? Saying, "Oops, you know, we missed everything." No, and I so, think I think you and David might have been even know, talking about it on, on one of the technology. I think shows. David was for sure. You know, yeah, you know, one of the Friday right. afternoons. Yeah, he was. Would have you, and he's just kind of saying, "Well, wait a minute here. You know, what what's their competitive advantage? What Zero. what couldn't be recreated or what happened?" Right. And you know, how would you like to be the guy that bought the stock right at, at the top at uh, what is it twenty five by twenty six yeah. bucks? Because this, folks, this is this is going after its lows and exactly. way it's trading. It wants to break these volume. lows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at the, I mean, it's like oh man, uh, a broken know? broken stock and it just went uh, public in uh, just, June. Yeah, you know. Yeah. It's amazing the amount of books that get cooked on a continual basis, and they. What happens, folks, is that. The accounting structure now is so bureaucratic and so entrenched in the deal. It's legal. Most of this, like with Pandora, did, is probably legal. This is not like an Enron deal. This is right. This is oh, just no, no, for sure. understanding yeah. the well, you understand the accounting business big time. Yeah, that's and right. you know, making sure there's plenty of mirrors in the room, right? And <laughs> they just they just move things around. It's it's yeah. crazy though. Yeah. It's if you folks, let me tell you something. If 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 most of us out here really understood what they did, you'd think it's illegal. Because I've got my head wrapped around quite a few of these things, and, yeah. and it blows my mind that it's actually legal. Yes, yes. It's like, wow, man. How, well, okay, there's a beef right now. So if you look at the Wall Street Journal today, listen to this beef. This is amazing. Clear Channel, and this is Bain Company and Thomas Lee. They're both okay. out of Boston, okay? okay? Yeah. They bought Clear Channel at uh, $17.8 billion in uh, okay. two, uh, 2008 or something. Okay. Got taken to the cleaners. But inside Clear Channel, folks, what you have is you have Clear Channel that has all the, bull the billboards. That's right. So what's happening That's is that the business. billboards are making a fortune. Yeah. Still making big, a fortune, big, big right? Big business, yeah. Well, the radio station is going broke, okay? So watch what they're doing. What they're doing is that the main radio station is taking all the money out of the the bulletin board. Now, the bulletin board is, is public, okay? Okay, okay. And the way they're doing it is that they're doing it as notes. But now a hedge fund is, is going after Clear Channel because they're saying, hey, man, you, you're, gonna, you're, you're BKing the... Mm -hmm. And that's what yeah. they're going to do, folks. They're going to... You watch this play out in the next few years. Bain and Company, um, uh, Lee and Company, yeah. they're going to basically... They're taking all the money out. They're taking it out as notes, and then all of a sudden they're gonna say, "Oh, we're bankrupt." Yeah, oh, we're gone. Big. They'll probably give themselves a special dividend before it, right? Oh, it's it's amazing. I mean, they're raping the comp the company. There's no two ways about it. You know, you take a look at that billboard business. Huge business. Yeah, huge. You know, not going to go away. Right. And uh, you know, I, I I and I don't know how long it takes and the costs involved, but you know, the the transformation from the standard billboards to the digital billboards oh, that are I out know. there. I know. You know, and, and the uh, companies, you know, I, 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 at one time I tried to spend some time trying to find the companies that were in the manufacturing side okay. of that business because I think in a longer term play, right. you know, they've got a heck of a business out there. Huge. But, you know, when you, when you take a look at just simply how much more revenue you're able to drive on a billboard, yep. you know, by being able to, in the, in the quality, you know, it's like HD like, especially, in, and, they, and they somehow have been able to make it work well in the daytime with sunlight. 
you know, where you can clearly see the uh, billboards. And then you just start taking a look at it, you know, on top of taxi cabs, you know, the signage that's out there. That's huge. And I just think it's a, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's quite a uh, big uh, uh, business to be in. Okay, folks, so, you know, you, you got... We're already giving yeah, two. You that's get, right. You got desserts. We get two businesses that's now. That's right. And, two and, and I'm going to give a third one on okay. top of that. Okay. Okay. The one that you're on. Yeah. Multi billions, folks. Oh, absolutely. Now this is what's happened. I don't know what's happened in your neighborhood, but let me tell you what's happened in Florida. When you go down the street, folks, right? So now this is a real estate play with the the play on on the because I've already done it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to give this out, folks, but. Don't come into my. Don't come to Pinellas. Uh, okay, don't right. come to Pinellas or Hillsborough okay, County. Okay? okay, I love it. I love it. So, when you start going down the streets now, right? What, what I want, to want you to look at is this: at the at the big intersections, what you're going to see is that all the signs before at the Walgreens and all that were higher. Well, about eight months ago, the audience has changed, mm -hmm. and what you're going to see is that when you're at the lights, mm -hmm. you see the new kiosks that are coming out. And the eye level. Okay. Oh yeah, the eye level deal, folks. Okay. Okay. So what sense. you want, what you want to do, is that you want to find those spots. Yeah. You know, you buy those spots yes, as yes, real estate. Yes, yes. You're not paying for that, and of course that's not there. But you're gonna put one there. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. that I am all over that. That I love it. because what happens is that we're, we you know as soon as I saw it, I said, oh my god, and my wife's gonna kill me because. She doesn't want any signs, and I don't blame her either. I mean, the difference between where we live and down in Naples, they have no signs. Yeah, okay. It's just beautiful. Okay. There's right, no doubt right, about right, it. Right, right, right. But, hey, we'll have to change the name of the show today. Well, it's the Money Masters. Oh, yeah. yeah you can make money a lot of different ways. Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty funny, though. Yeah. It really is. No. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Okay, so let me see there. I want to... BVSN... Yes, there's, is that right? BVSN, 56 and say 37. Yeah, okay. yeah, down, uh, down $3.60, down oh. 8%. Oh, I thought it said down $37. No, oh, okay. no, 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 BVSN, yeah, broad oh, yeah. Business, broad oh, business. yeah. So, so not, yeah. That's, you know, nothing, uh, you know, on the way up, you've got uh, this uh, TRCR, Transcend, but I think they've got a, this a buyout deal, so they, you know, they're up about 40%. Yeah, look at that. I think the stock might even, is it halted or? I don't know. So oh, my, there it is up there. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, Look yeah, at that. Yeah, one yeah, little yeah. tick. <laughs> oh, yeah, just one little tick up there. Yeah, so you got Priceline is up, CF Industries is up, MasterCard, CME Group, F5, Apple, Amazon, Win, Cena. You know, everything's up. It looks like about a couple of bucks. Now, on the downside, you know, everything is kind of uh, calm today, yeah. if you will, versus yesterday. The exact opposite. Broad Vision's really Broad Vision and Deck. Uh, uh, Broad Vision, Deck, Pandora. Children's P L C E, they're down about four percent. Children's Place retail stores, so not much, uh, not much happening. W M T. Let's see with. Oh yeah, Walmart. Well, Walmart's gonna do an A B C down. There it is. Light point. Off the high yeah. with uh, twenty-eight million. She's going up with three. Oh yeah, big A B C down. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, you stay right there, folks. Uh, we're coming right back. We get the uh, Dow up uh, thirty. Uh, let's see, no, Dow up uh, twenty-two. Nasdaq up. Uh, Three. Three. <laughs> yeah, those 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 boards are unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, and you see how they're clear. Yeah. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. 
At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. I should get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off? Yeah, of I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we weighed at was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Burnstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 ounces per year at a cash cost of only $450 per ounce. The Hollister mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only $527 per ounce. Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York Stock Exchanges under the symbol GBG. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Sure. Applications. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. Don't forget, folks, you want to come to Steve Master Trader Series, Denver, Colorado, March 23rd and 24th. Tampa, April 13th and 14th. Boston, April 27th and 28th. You can take advantage of the Tiger Dollar promotion. You go to his Master Trader. You're going to get my Master Trader for free if you buy Tiger Dollars. You have in this week to do it. Let's go to Michael in Colorado. Hey, Michael, what's going on? Um, hey, Steve. How are you guys doing? Excellent. Good, man. Good. Beautiful. Uh, yesterday, 72. Today, 20. Oh, oh really? Oh, oh, my God. That's, that's intense. A, that would cause, that would yeah, cause that illness. Is, but you, you know that's that we're used to that. It it'll be sixties all next week. So. Oh, yeah, used to that goodness. dramatic though, huh? Oh, very dramatic. Yeah. Thank, thank oh, yeah. God Steve wasn't there. You'd, you'd hear uh, him. You'd hear him all the way back here. Yeah. <laughs> Most my... dramatic is when you're out hiking and and temperature drops thirty degrees in an hour. Oh, that's intense, man. Yeah, yeah you always have to be prepared. No, you definitely have to be prepared. Wow. So I'm looking to be prepared on this T I E Tom Okay. okay. The echo. Uh, it looks like it's coming into the swing with a lot less volume on the weekly. Okay, so you get titanium metals. Now, this this what this does, folks. It's a it's a mill product deal. They make they make things out of titanium. Okay, so let me see this thing. So put this on a weekly. I'd be careful here. I mean, you know. I think this thing's going to go down to the very end of the, you know, the deal. This thing can get to seven bucks, man. If, if, you, if you put this on a weekly, right, 
Yeah. This, you know, the yeah, the 1328, I see I see what you're looking at there. Yeah, look how low that volume is this week. Yeah, but see how high the 1328 is? So you, in just let it just let it test it. But the the thing I don't like about this is this. See what the thirteen twenty eight. See how the, there's nothing. You don't have anything in your back here. But you got volume at the top, don't you? I uh, know you do. That's the first thing Steve and I saw. There's no doubt about it. But you got to worry about what you can lose first. Of course. So what I mean by nothing at your back, it's like the lows out here. A seven dollars to six dollars. It's like okay, hold it, man. You're at a thirteen. I and mean, what I mean. There's just straight down. There's no consolidation underneath it. And if you go back to the week, you take a look on your chart. The week of March 26, 2010. Okay. We have 38 million shares, and uh, the low on that is uh, 1440, and you're trading below that right now. I mean, that's the last real sign of any kind of volume. Do you, do you have that volume, or is it? I have. What happens is it gives me the week of the 31st. Okay. Okay. So we're off. Oh no, I get I get a monthly. Sorry. Sorry. Hold on. Okay. So put, so put a monthly. weekly. No, no, no. Yeah. So put on the weekly. So so part of my concern would be that last real significant volume out there. You're trading below that too. So you know, you'd, right. if you did get into this thing, you'd want to make sure that you. You know that this thing did not get below that thirteen twenty eight level. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's where I'm watching it. Yep. Yeah, you know, and you'd, you'd certainly want to make you certainly want to see it get back inside fourteen forty, pronto. Thirteen cents away. Yeah, but I think what you're hearing from Thomas, there may be better trades out there. Yeah, I'd wait. I, you know, this. You no, know, what's interesting about this is that. You know, it's titanium, and I know folks used to buy this when when it was running up, thinking that it's a you know metal company, but it's really an, an industrial light company. You know, and it, the titanium is dynamite. I mean, and titanium lights, folks. Okay, the best lights you can buy, and big industrial firms or restaurants they use them and they love them, and I've seen them, and it's it's it's. Have a you good... traded this before, Michael? I haven't. Okay. Yeah. Well, just, just see how it hits there and see how the market's operating. If if the metals market itself, I can tell you, is still going south and the dollar's going up, I wouldn't touch it. Cool, thanks. Cooking, brother. Okay. You stay right there, folks. Um, Today we got Basil. In the we're going up to Newton, Mass. We're going to have Newton, Mass. My man Basil Chapman, 11 to 12, out to Tucson, Arizona. Larry, uh, 12 to 1. Maybe he might be in, he's in Philly or Hong Kong. Yeah. Uh, David White back here, 3 to 4 and 4 to 6. Have hey, a great one, folks. Take care, folks. Have a great day.